Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us for the 10th annual Future Security Forum. This is obviously a decade of partnership between Arizona State University and New America. We're really thrilled you're all joining us here today. We have a pretty packed program, as you can see. Um, just give everyone a chance to come in. We have the coffee will be there for much of the day. There'll be various snacks at different times. Um, but we've spent, you know, a decade putting together this future security project, bringing together all sorts of thought leaders from various backgrounds, military, from government, from the academy. Um, and we're going to just start the event with a short video and then move on to the official welcome. So thank you so much. Ten years ago, Arizona State University and New America created the Future Security Partnership to engage pressing global issues through transdisciplinary research, innovative educational programming, and public outreach. We've grown from two faculty co-directors, Peter Bergen and Daniel Rothenberg, to a team of 25 faculty, 32 current and former funded fellows, 15 research fellows, two staff, and over 150 affiliated faculty. Our research covers drones, domestic international terrorism, the rise and fall of the Wagner Group, proxy warfare, civilian casualties in the post 9-11 wars, weaponized narrative and disinformation, moral injury, human rights field research in Iraq and Syria, Chinese cognitive warfare, and engaging underrepresented communities in US national security. Our faculty and fellows have produced dozens of books, as well as many articles, podcasts, and films. Our white papers and proxy warfare have been read by over 100,000 people. Our team members have been nominated for and received Pulitzer Prizes, Emmys, and other major awards. We launched an online professional MA in global security, which annually enrolls over 160 students and has graduated over 400. We've organized dozens of conferences and hundreds of lectures, roundtables, and book talks, bringing together top experts in their fields. We currently host over 50 events each year. Through these efforts, the Future Security Partnership has reached over 25,000 people, both in person and online. We're thrilled with what we've accomplished in the first 10 years of the Arizona State University New America Future Security Partnership. And in the next 10 years, we look forward to generating big ideas and creating transformative solutions to address new and emerging security challenges. So Anne-Marie Slaughter is gonna come up, uh, the CEO of New America, the first woman to head policy planning at state, uh, amongst many other things that she's done in her life. So please, and many, the author of many books, one of which is out there for, for, for purchase. In fact, everybody who's speaking today who has a book, uh, will, has uh, the, the books can be purchased out, out there. Good morning. Uh, I would say anytime you buy a book, one of Peter's many books, you can buy one of mine. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we are thrilled to see all of you. Uh, I was just saying uh, to Paul Butler, our, our president, what a joy it is to come in, uh, particularly on a Monday morning, and see a lot of people talking and, and exchanging ideas. And I have not seen so many suits for many years, uh, the, the national security uh, community turns out. So most of what I was going to say was just said uh, in the video. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what this partnership uh, has meant uh, for New America as a whole. It is our 10th year. Uh, this was one of the very first things that, that I did on becoming uh, the president and CEO of New America in 2013. I, I, I knew about ASU. But as one of my staff members said, you've got to go out there and drink the Kool-Aid. And I did. I went out uh, to ASU. I met Michael Crow and Jim O'Brien. I was and remain completely compelled by the simplicity of a mission that says we should be judged by those whom we include rather than those whom we exclude. I've been in many universities, I've, both as a student and as a faculty member, who are measured by how many people they exclude, by three or four percent admissions rates as the sign of exclusivity and quality. And ASU has been and has succeeded in demonstrating that you can include in the percentages of the state of which you are a university and other states now too, and still run a top quality research university. 
That's the new American university, and we are new America, and it gives me enormous pride uh, that this is the university that new America is partnered with. The other thing I will say is I'm pretty certain we are the first ever universe, uh, university think tank partnership to run a master's program. Our master's program in global security, as you've heard, uh, has now had thousands of students. And it is a way of bringing together many of you, the, the kind of top members of the foreign policy and national security establishment who are in DC, who are uh, often abroad, and all the students and terrific faculty members who are at ASU. And it's online, we, and we have faculty teaching in many different ways. And that's, again, that's the kind of innovative thing that ASU is known for and that we, we very much want New America to be known for as a think and action tank. So I am not going to recite the many things that we have done together because you have just heard them. I will say when I, if I have no plans to step down, but some <laughs> point I wanna make clear, when I do, I will look back on this partnership as one of the things I am proudest of uh, that we have accomplished together uh, at New America. And with that, I'm gonna introduce Jim O'Brien uh, to welcome you from the ASU point of view. Good morning, everyone. Uh, that was a fantastic, I think, introduction to the ASU New America Partnership. And I, I'm just gonna add to it, I think, two things. Um, ASU is also about scaling. So uh, on education, how is it that we take education and not have only, have only success with the 180,000 students we currently have at ASU, but how do we have um, impact and how, how do we, how do we change the world in many respects. And that's part of the responsibility of a comprehensive public research university. So this partnership is a way that a university is attempting to step out and reach more people with more ideas that have real impact. We have fantastic ideas in the institution and we have fantastic people, but we have got to find pathways and mechanisms to carry that out into the world. And there's no greater responsibility today uh, than to address the kinds of issues that you're going to hear about. So for ASU, this too has been a, a, a fantastic transformational partnership. I think it's instructed the institution in many ways about how we behave and what we should do and how we carry out our, 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 our mission. I also hope that it's a, a, a model. So often at ASU, one of the things we like to do is experiment and try new things with the hope that others will experiment too. So this idea of a, of a partnership uh, between uh, a major public research university and an action tank in Washington, D.C. is something that I think could, as evidenced by 10 years now of fantastic work, could benefit the country and, and uh, benefit us globally. So I want to thank everybody for uh, being here today. It's really a pleasure for ASU to be part of this, and we look forward to the next 10 years. Thank you.